Genshin Impact was announced in June of 2019, it was lambasted as a mere Breath of the Wild clone. In fact, some man was so mad, he smashed his PS4 out of sheer frustration during the event. Of course, after witnessing the incredible amount of autism surrounding this subject, I knew that me, being the contrarian to watch that I am, would be required to play this game. Just a disclaimer, I'm reviewing this on the PC, and uh, I'm also told that apparently using a controller for this game makes me a bitch, so take that as you will, I guess. Genshin Impact was released worldwide on September 28th, 2020 for PC, PS4, and smartphone. There are also plans for a Nintendo Switch release, however, there is currently no time frame for this. Despite originally being relegated as a shitty Breath of the Wild knockoff clone, the game has seen immense popularity. Genshin Impact has earned over 100 million USD in the first two weeks of release. Perhaps the outrage is what put it on the map in the first place. Genshin Impact takes place in the realm of Tyvet. There are currently two regions available to explore, with more to be added in future updates. There are plenty of things to do within the regions themselves, from cooking, collecting, to even conquering various dungeons littered throughout the landscape. When you start Genshin Impact, you are greeted with a cutscene of some blonde dude and some blonde girl fighting a BDSM goddess in the sky. During the fight, you are asked to choose between one of the two blondies. These characters are the protagonists. Once you've chosen a sibling, the cutscene continues, and the BDSM goddess turns the other twin into a cube, or puts them into a Pokeball. I dunno, either way, this aroused every BDSM bone in my body. The protagonist you selected, you know, the one who's not a cube, yeah, they kind of get yeeted down to the land below. The game then skips a couple years to a scene where the protagonist is speaking with the world's cutest emergency food. This is what starts the tutorial sequence. A bit later, you have a run-in with some self-denying furry who's trying to talk to his dragon persona. However, they both run, and you're left wondering what kind of zoophilia-infested hellscape you've been stranded in. Soon after, you meet your second character, Little Red Riding Hood. Together, two of you travel to the city of Mondstadt. Once you arrive at the city of Mondstadt, you will obtain the Glider. Shortly thereafter, that douchebag dragon from before starts whipping up a literal storm. The protagonist gets launched into the sky, where you play Star Fox. You could probably call it a Star Fox, if Star Fox was made for a geriatric alcoholic with a couple extra chromosomes. After you're finished bitch slapping the dragon, you'll meet your two other party members, Stud, a sword wielding ice guy. You've actually got the power to go up against the dragon. Are you a new ally? <laughs> or a new storm? And Slutty Witch, the thirstiest mage in all of Mondstadt. <laughs> oh, are you sweeties here to help us out? <laughs> You're both so adorable. They technically aren't yours to use until you beat a couple dungeons, but this is where they're introduced as cast members. Most other playable characters are unlocked by wishes. Wishes are the gotcha mechanic of this game. What's a gotcha? Well, it's simple. You know how Call of Duty has loot boxes for new guns? Well, with gotcha, you got loot boxes for more titties. I mean waifus. I mean characters and weapons. You unlock wishes in a multitude of ways, mainly through rewards or primo gems. Personally, I managed to pull a 5 star character on my first roll, but much to my chagrin, it's a lolly. She however is one of the most powerful characters in the game right now, 
So I, I do keep her on my team even if it does make me feel incredibly uncomfortable to have a zombified ice lolly hanging out. Sorry, stud. You're not a 5 star. Every 10 wishes you are guaranteed a 4 star. Whether that 4 star is a character or a weapon depends on how much God hates you. You can unlock some characters by accomplishing certain tasks as well. Like it or not, this is the reality of free-to-play games. With Genshin Impact being a free-to-play game, they need to make money somehow. In the vast open world that is Taivat, there are several activities to partake in, such as... Exploring enemy worlds. Cooking anime food. Picking up anime collectibles. Hold up. Did he just... He just hit that kid with a goddamn shovel! What the fuck? Combat is surprisingly decent. In fact, I would say it's much better than Breath of the Wild. Combat in Breath of the Wild is focused on basic action mixed with physics. While keeping the basic combat, Genshin differs by having more emphasis on how you combine different elements. The moveset for each character is rather limited. Characters have a very basic attack pattern with little to no variation. This means there aren't any in-depth combos to learn. There's also a complete lack of mid-air combat. As a fan of games in the style of Devil May Cry and Nier Automata, combat does fall slightly short for me. However, this is just me being nitpicky. A core feature of Genshin Impact is using many characters at once. Making distinct combos and movesets for 23 different characters is a lot of work. This doesn't mean that combat is a simple smooth-brained button mash. Each character has a distinct elemental skill as well as an elemental burst. Elemental skills range from a powerful gust of wind to a temporary shield that negates incoming damage. Elemental bursts, on the other hand, have longer cooldowns and function as somewhat of an ultimate move. In spite of being a beautifully crafted game with stellar graphics, a quality combat system, and a vast open world, Genshin Impact's issues stem from the fact that it is a free-to-play game. Yeah, getting the characters you actually want can be a pain in the ass, but let's be honest. You're essentially using loot boxes to hopefully roll a busty 5-star mage, or a lolly if you're into that. I won't judge. This itself sucks quite a bit, but... There are other things just as disappointing. The first thing I wasn't impressed with was how the multiplayer operates. You're required to have an adventure rank of 16 before you can even access co-op, and once you finally do, it's rather underwhelming. Visitors cannot open chests, activate objects, interact with NPCs, or even help the host with quests. So all you're going to be doing is exploring and killing monsters. Another annoying mechanic is the world rank. A higher world rank means more difficult monsters, but it also means that players with a lower world rank cannot join players with a higher world rank. This might be because the enemies are too tough, but some people actually prefer a challenge. Overall, multiplayer is still somewhat enjoyable, but it feels like a hugely missed opportunity. I should also let you know that this game is region locked, meaning that your friend who is from another continent will not be able to join you. 
you can't even add them. This really sucks if you have friends from other places on this hell rock we call Earth. The part that seemingly upsets players the most is the original resin system. Original resin lets you receive rewards from dungeons as well as accessing leyline rewards and receiving rewards from open world bosses. Original resin will pretty much uh, cock block you from making too much progress. You can refill your resin, but you'll be using primo gems or your fragile resin for that, which really isn't worth it. I haven't personally run into this problem, and that's likely because I didn't know life this game for a week straight. However, I know many people who pretty much just hit a content wall because of this. Now they just log in to do dailies until the next content update is released. This is a huge problem for other free-to-play games as well. It's a trend I would like to see taken behind a barn and shivved into non-existence. Seeing the popularity of this game, I wouldn't doubt some of the more money-hungry publishers <coughs> yay, <coughs> will adapt this into their game as well. Normally, I would never suggest games that can be played on a phone to a PC gamer, even if it has a dedicated PC version. That's because up until now, most of those games tend to be shitty digital card games. Genshin Impact, on the other hand, is uh, much more than your typical shitty digital card game, you know? That's because Genshin Impact isn't a mobile game. It's an actual game you can play on your PS4, PC, and your mobile device. Jokes aside, this game is fantastic, with the exception of the atrocious resin system, annoying gacha mechanics, and the relatively meh multiplayer. If you're able to look past those flaws, this game is worthy of giving a try. And hey, if you don't like it, at least you didn't spend any money on it. Sup Chads, it's me, Nihilistic Nerd, and I'm here to thank you for watching my video. Special shout out to my lewd dude, GCAT3512. There'll be a link in the description below. What's going on on the channel? Let me tell you. I moved out recently. Look, this, this is my new apartment. I live here now. Now I can devote more time to YouTube and Twitch. Except I can't because I work like 50 hours a week. <laughs> but... Now that I'm on my own, I can, you know, work on this stuff around the clock and be kind of loud. Not too loud, because my neighbors might call the cops on me, but that's a thing. Um, yeah, so hopefully I'm going to be trying to get out a video at least once a month, whether it's a gaming review or even anything to do with gaming. Uh, we'll see. It could be gaming, it could be other things. Um, yeah, so that's it. If you want to follow me on Twitch, that's where I stream three days a week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Or follow me on Twitter and, you know, Facebook and all those other social media hell sites. Uh, feel free to do so. The links will be in the description below as well. There's also going to be a link in the description for Genshin Impact if you're actually interested in it. So, yeah. Thank you. Have a good one. Later. I live in bed.